Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at a visual enhancer for Windows XP and Windows Server 2003 called XPIs or XPIs. It's probably about a 50-50 split on that pronunciation there. We all know that Windows XP introduced the Luna theme when it came out, which drastically updated the look of the operating system. But Microsoft didn't update every single visual element when they made this theme. For example, if we go into the control panel and open up the add new hardware wizard, if you didn't know, this graphic on the left side is actually left over from Windows 2000 and me. It was just not updated. Uh, and this is the case for the other wizards as well. So we can open up the network setup wizard here and we got the same thing going on even in things like internet options we have a, a lot of these icons throughout these various tabs have not been changed uh, some of them have but most of them have not so what XPIs does is it updates all of this stuff with visuals that better fit in with the rest of the OS and it also adds some additional themes and even changes the boot screen now, longtime viewers of the channel may remember that I actually did a video on this back almost a decade ago now, and uh, don't go watch it. Uh, there's there's no need. That's why I'm making this video because I wanted just to do like a better version of that video, to be honest, and you know do this on real hardware and just kind of revisit this because it's been well almost a decade. Uh, but what's really interesting though is uh, the website where this was originally hosted, XPIs.net, evidently went offline shortly after I made that video because the last snap shot we have available to us on the Wayback Machine is from November 6, 2015, which is shortly before I made that video. Uh, afterwards, there's a few years where there's no snapshots at all, and there are snapshots in recent years, but by that time, the domain was like sold or repurposed for something else, and now it's just a parked page. Now, you can still download this over on Major Geeks. I'll have that link down below. And the latest release, which is uh, XPI's 5 Release 6, was published on August 31st, 2009 uh, and that's the version we're going to be checking out today. Now, this requires .NET Framework 2.0, so I've already got that installed. I'll have that link down below as well. So we're just going to go ahead and run the installer here. We'll choose our language, and we're just going to install it, have it do some decompression. Now, here it's going to check for updates, and it will obviously fail because the web server is, uh, is long gone. And then we get the uh, release notes here, so we'll just hit next. And this is where you can customize everything. So there are, like, this package just does a lot. Lot. It includes a lot of uh, visual improvements. You've got a few different theme selections here, but you can also go to advanced just to get everything. Now we're going to do this for the first run through, but uh, what's interesting is even if you check everything here, uh, you don't actually get all of these visual elements and I'll, I'll kind of explain what I mean by that as we uh, you know go throughout this video uh, but we'll go to advanced just for this first run through we have to check everything again because when you go back to simple and then back to advanced it just sets everything back to default so we'll hit next uh, then we're going to choose to install to this computer. Now, what's really cool is you could install this to a Windows setup CD and like slipstream it in to where when you install Windows, it'll just come with all these uh, improved visuals, which is really nice. But uh, we're just going to install it to our hard drive and it will make a system restore point for us and begin patching everything. And we're just about done. It's going to send our installation feedback, but uh, of course it will fail uh, because, well, it says unknown error, but it's just because the server's gone. And yeah, so we'll restart. And on boot up here, we should see the new boot screen, which is just a static image because this is all you can do to modify XP's boot screen without using a piece of third party software like boot skin. You see, we even get a new cursor as well. Kind of looks more like the Vista slash seven one. And oh yeah, we get a new welcome screen too. And when you log back in, before Explorer even loads, you get this uh, WordPad document that just tells you a little bit about it and uh, what it has changed. And it says over 1,200 icons are updated and over 600 bitmaps are replaced with a fresher, more XP-ish look. This, in addition to the new visual styles added to your system, uh, they also patch uxtheme.dll for us, which is great, uh, new wallpaper, screensavers, and more. And you've got a place where you can leave feedback. When we close out of this, Explorer will begin to load, and here we go. So yeah, uh, the theme that it applies by default is the uh, Royale uh, XP Media Center theme. But of course, we can go into display properties here and uh, change that, you know, to one of the other ones if we want to, which we'll do in a moment. But first, I want to show you some of the changes that uh, it has made. So if we go back in the control panel here, 
First of all, the sidebar here has been updated a little bit, and if we go into add hardware, you'll see we get this really nice graphic here on the left side. Doesn't that look so much better than that old one we had before? And so this is the case for all of the wizards. If we open up, uh, let's go to the network setup wizard. We got the same thing. Uh, and, and you know, they are just like the original ones. They are customized for whatever wizard that you're opening up. Uh, and if we go into internet options, you'll see we have some newer icons here. Uh, we can go back into mouse and we have a, a new icon right here. And then this is our uh, pointer scheme that it applied for us, which looks really nice. Uh, pointer options, you can see all this has been changed. Even things like if we go into Winver here, uh, they have updated the banner up here. But yeah, so that's basically what it is. It's all little stuff like that throughout the system, uh, which I think really adds up to make XP look just a lot better. Uh, but we also, if we go into display here, uh, under desktop, first of all, we have a bunch of new wallpapers uh, that, you know, go with these various themes. We have a couple of new screensavers. Uh, one of them is this 3D flag which is really neat actually. Uh, so it's a, you know, it's an animated flag and then the Windows XP logo comes up and then I think it fades away. Yeah, there you go. And I think we can go into settings here. Oh, well, there actually aren't any options. So I guess it just uh, automatically changes between colors as you have it running here. So it's like orange right now, then it goes to green. You know, it's probably the, the four different like uh, quadrants of the Windows XP logo, which would be yellow, orange, blue, and green. Uh, so yeah, and here's here's yellow. So yeah, that's what I imagine it's doing uh, and that's one of them We also have the XPI's logo, which is pretty basic It's just like the Windows XP logo that just moves around the screen just replaced with this bitmap and there are no settings for that one either I think those are the only two screensavers um, I think yeah because all of these are just standard XP ones so yeah, it adds two new screensavers. I don't think it modifies the logo one, though it does not. And then of course we can go into appearance to change the visual style. Now XPIs does install the like official set of Microsoft themes. So we already saw Royale. We have the Zoom style and we have the embedded style. Uh, but we also have this Luna theme, which ironically is not an official Microsoft theme. That's just Windows XP style. This is the basic Luna theme. Uh, this one is like some third party theme. It might have even been created just for XPIs. And uh, we also have those three different variants of it as well, like we do with the regular Luna theme. So we have blue, olive green and metallic. Uh, and it kind of, you know, looks like the Royale theme. If we go ahead and uh, apply it here, I'll show you what I mean. But it also makes some pretty significant changes. You can see the start button here has been shrunk down and there's no text there anymore. And that's actually the same case with everything on the right side here in the start menu. So this kind of feels like a midway in between the Windows Classic start menu and the full XP start menu in terms of like how wide it is anyways. Uh, but yeah, I don't think like if we go back to Royale here, I think this is the exact same. Okay, well, it is a little bit different. Um, yeah, it just basically shrinks down the title bar and everything a little bit. Let's go back to Luna and just show you uh, how that changes. So there you go. Uh, Luna element here is uh, a little bit different. This actually changes the uh, close, maximize, and minimize buttons and kind of gives it a more like Vista slash 7-esque look. Um, and the start menu actually regains its uh, text here in the right column, but it does have a, a whole new style. And then we have different uh, variants of that as well. Blue compact looks like it just shrinks everything down. Uh, and not the start menu though, the column here still is the same. And then we have Luna Royale, which I wonder how this differs from Luna, which looks like Royale. It is different, it, it just is actually shrinking everything uh, more and more. So we go to Luna here, it shrinks down, Luna Royale, it shrinks down even more, although we do get kind of this, you know, a whole different look. And then we have a few different uh, color schemes here, you know, a few different variants. So we have like a black one, we have a compact one, which I think, uh, actually looks exactly the same as Luna Royale. Let's see how that differs. Well, the start menu here loses your, your name up here, and this definitely looks more like a Vista-esque start menu. Let's go to a compact, though, and see if that... Does that change the start menu? Ah, uh, that's what it does. It does change the start menu around. Okay, so that's nice. So yeah, you have plenty of options for uh, theming uh, Windows XP to your liking. However, uh, and this is where we get into what I was saying before during the installer. These themes do not change every single visual element because if we were, for example, to set this to Luna Element Black and hit OK, 
And if we go back into control panel here, you can see that like the sidebar and everything changes, but if we go into add new hardware, this still remains. We have this same exact bitmap from before because to change these, you have to actually patch system files using something like the XPI's installer. Just changing the theme isn't going to do anything. So if you want to get the sidebar images that go with this theme, you have to actually run through the installer again and we'll hit next on the readme. And when you get back to this screen, you want to go to this top drop down menu and change this to the theme of your choice. So I'm going to choose dark side, which will utilize the visual style that I have applied now, but it will also change the bitmaps to ones that actually match with this theme. Now you can customize all these options and change the bitmaps to another style if you want to, but of course that doesn't really fit well with this theme. And then you also have a welcome screen that goes with the theme. You've got, you know, your wallpaper, which you can change, you know, you can change the wallpaper after the theme is applied and same with the visual style. But like I was saying before, if you go into advanced and check all of this stuff, you will get the different themes that you can swap between, but you're not going to be able to change the bitmap. So you have to go through this installer every time you want to do that. So I'll select dark side. We'll leave all this at the default and just hit next and install this computer and we'll have it go through the patching process again. And now if we go back into control panel and go to add new hardware, you see we get this much more fitting bitmap here. Now you can still go and change the theme. It still copies over all of those other theme files. So we can go in and set this back to the regular Luna one or the embedded style, but those bitmaps again are not going to change. So it really looks out of place, I think at least with these different visual styles. Although the Zoom one, it's gonna fit in pretty well. So we can set it to the Zoom theme. And yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. So it's nice that you still get the option to change these uh, themes, you know, if you want to just from in display properties. But from what I can tell, the whole idea here was you would just run through the XPI's installer and pick the settings you want from there and probably leave the theme alone for a while until you want to modify it again. Then you go back through the installer and pick out your new settings. And just a couple other things that have been changed, uh, some animations, like if we go into just the C drive here and copy the programs file folder over the desktop, because uh, you know that sounds like a normal thing to do. Uh, this animation here you can see is totally different and I think it looks really nice. We're gonna go ahead and cancel out of that and uh, move that to the recycle bin. Uh, now you already saw the uh, welcome screen if we go ahead and switch user here. Uh, this does differ depending on what theme you select in the installer. So here's that one that goes with the darker theme. And there's also uh, for the only program that has been added in here, task switch XP. And this just completely changes how the alt tab interface looks. So if we open up like recycle bin here and I do alt tab to switch between my windows, you can see it's this nice full screen interface. It looks so much nicer than the standard windows one. And uh, I think we've actually seen this in some other uh, XP customization packs in the past on this channel. And uh, just like all the other stuff, this will change depending on, you know, what theme you select. I think even we can go into properties here and I think when we change the appearance, yes, it automatically changes how task switch XP looks. So that is really, really nice. Uh, you can also go into uh, all programs here and just get into the uh, configuration yourself from here and you know modify it to your liking. But yeah, this is the only program that uh, XPIs installs. And, um, you know, I just think this is a really, really neat program. And this is honestly like how Windows XP should have looked, I think. I mean, not necessarily this exact look here with the Zune theme, although it is pretty fitting. I have this applied for a video that I'm working on. I wonder if you'll ever guess what that's about. But uh, just all these little details, you know, changing the, the sidebar images and the wizards and the welcome screen, depending on what theme you have applied. Those are just really nice uh, enhancements. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely am going to have this installed on this system here. I really don't see any point to take it off. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, if you want to see more like it, be sure to give this one a thumbs up, get subscribed. Maybe consider becoming a patron or a channel member to get early access to these videos before anybody else. But either way, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.